Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of your clip will blow. I ain't talking fast, you're listening slow. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to my guy Showtime SP. Cortez! Cortez is battling to surf tomorrow. Uh, the battle will be aired. The following Saturday on Caffeine Live. Uh, there's a lot of people who had thoughts about it in the beginning. I, I was like, ah, you know, it's nasty work, etc., etc. But don't let that get too far ahead of you. Uh, so I seen Cortez. He said some things on Twitter yesterday. I spoke to Sue Surf on his live stream a little bit earlier today just to get a feel and a premise of what was going on and how this was going about and was he going to be actually in his bagging tent. And he said, you know, I'm still hungry. I'm you're like, why does the narrative change? And we talked about narratives and we, I told him basically, this is the position that you, this is what you signed up for. When you want to be the best and you fucking going about it, you've got the midnight madness, you've got all this shit going on and you won three battles in a row. This is what you signed up for. I asked him, did he hear Vixen? He said he heard Vixen. Vixen was talking. Vixen was talking kind of crazy to you, sir. If I told you that on your live stream, I wanted to know if you saw that. You said you saw that she was talking. He was talking kind of heavy to you. He said that she she's now in his top three. Uh, Vixen is definitely in my top three in females because uh, she's, if not number one, I mean, honestly. But uh, let's get to what Cortez said about the battle being aired on a live stream the next weekend or whatever. He says, uh, and I quote, Now that it's public, I can respond to all the questions. It's simple business. We both have multiple contractual obligations. Saturday was the best day we ensure the battle. You all let me personally pick when it should air, and I wanted the battle to get full promo before airing. A week of promo allows everyone to be able to watch it. Uh, we could have let the battle drop the next day, but that wouldn't be enough time for everyone to know it was airing live, especially with it being Mother's Day, people work, have lives, so giving the seven days promo is the smartest business decision to ensure the entire culture witnesses this. And he also said, uh, someone said, we had to scream at them niggas, laugh my ass off. Not really, this was negotiated way before anyone knew it was going to be rescheduled. You would have to think I'm an idiot to agree to be an app only and caffeine and URL invested way too much money for it to be app only. We didn't just announce it until it was official. That was all. <clears throat> so originally, you know, a lot of people, blogs, Different folks, me included, was like, yo, Cortez, why are you taking this? Nigga, this should not be no motherfucking app-only battle. Why are you taking an app-only battle? You are not going to beat Sue Surf on the app-only. He could read the alphabet backwards and beat you on the app. That's just how big his fan base is. I'm calling like I call it, so I can't spoil it. It is what it is. So he said that they negotiated for the battle to come out the next week. But, bro, the problem is there's going to be so many narratives from when this battle happens. People there, bootlegs. You got you risk bootlegs, you risk people that are there that are gonna say who won and all of that. A seven day period is a long ass time for people to just be thinking what if or this could have happened or whatever the case may be. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna battle, it's gonna be in the building, then they're gonna stream it on Caffeine Live seven days later. And I know uh, Cortez was talking about the playoff. Playoffs? Playoffs? We don't give a shit about no I mean, we do care, but most of our teams are getting eliminated any fucking way. So we don't care about the playoffs. Mother's Day, listen, moms would have had to chill. Niggas would have put their moms on pause for an hour to see y'all battle. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. In the comments, would you have watched Sue Surf versus Cortez on Mother's Day? And I guarantee you niggas would have found a way to watch that battle. Like, you didn't have to drag it out seven days. I'm just... Just saying. Now, this is so I'm not as mad when they let you make the decision. You know what I'm saying? Like, if Cortez made the decision for it to happen that way, I'm not mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. I just didn't want to see him put in a position as to where the battle didn't happen on this day. Now it's not happening live. Now this shit is going straight to the app. Like, bro, you don't want your shit to go straight to no app, my nigga. Like, no, no, no fucking way. There's niggas who don't even have the app. It is what it is. And when you look, 
I'm just calling it across the board. When you look at a lot of the content that's being released on that motherfucker, you can't really blame niggas. Like, they dropping niggas I never even heard of on that motherfucker. I did catch a good Louisa vs. Honor the other day. That was cool. But they drop a lot of niggas you never even heard of. Nobody, niggas could use that money to go do something else. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas is in tight situations and they ain't got that kind of bread to be spending no eight, nine dollars a month on a motherfucking app that ain't releasing nothing. So, you going on there was cool, but there's a lot of niggas who don't have that shit no more. You needed that live stream. You got the live stream, it's seven days later. Narratives are gonna be built like a motherfucker. From the day you battle, trust and believe, Twitter, Facebook, everything, from the people that's there, the interviews and all that, they're gonna have a feeling of who won. You know what I'm saying? Unless you do some outworldly shit and y'all have a classic, like an easy versus chess, and it's such a classic that niggas really don't even care who won, or you have like a super classic, that's beneficial because then you can build up. But I don't know if waiting seven days in this culture or this time of battle rap is really the, the, the thing to do because it's like, bro, niggas would have watched that shit on Sunday. If it would have came out the next day, niggas would have watched it. I promise you. How long of a live caffeine stream would it have been the day after? You know what I'm saying? It would've been like, what, an hour? Nigga, <laughs> we could've all met up at four o'clock, everybody could've watched that shit, niggas could've went on about their business. But, as I said, Cortez did say that it was his decision for this to happen. He said, uh, we could've had the battle drop the next day, but that wouldn't have been enough time for everyone to know it was airing live, especially with it being Mother's Day, people have lives, people have work, it's, you know what I'm saying? He wants the whole culture to witness this. So, who knows? He may be showing up there with some of the best material that we've ever heard from him. Whispers around, you know, people, this person talking to that person, talking to that person said it's the best material they ever heard from Cortez. I'm just saying what I heard. I don't know, I did not hear his material. I don't wish to hear his material or Sue Surf's material. I would like to see it when it happens. Um, congratulations to both individuals. They worked immensely to get to this point because Cortez has been around for a while. He's had not the best hand dealt to him in battle rap, so he's had to like overcome a lot of obstacles and still deal with hate and still deal with people saying, you know, you're not good enough or you shouldn't be getting this battle or you shouldn't be getting that battle. And that's why I had originally made the tweet saying that Cortez deserved this look. He deserved to be live. He deserved to trend on Twitter. You still deserve to trend on Twitter. Like you deserve that notoriety. That's a big thing. When you trend on Twitter, that helps you business-wise, that helps you in other endeavors, that helps people stream your music who didn't even know your music. It just helps you in a lot of ways. And I think that that was taken away. And when I thought to myself, I was like, if Surf was battling goods, if Surf was battling a lot of different MCs, they wouldn't go for this. There's no way. Them niggas would be like, man, fuck that. Push this. I'm missing my flight. We're going to push this shit back to Gnome. Nigga, I'm being on a car because they know everything that comes with it. These guys got big followers. Y'all got, they said it was one point something million people watching the live stream. That's why I was trying like, nigga, I know you're not gonna go from a live stream of one point something million people to getting thrown on the app. Nigga, hell no. I'm glad that didn't happen. Uh, with all of this being said, I still got Surf winning 2-1. Uh, Cortez, it, it's kind of like this, the, this shit is set up for him to win now. Uh, you're gonna have to really, really, really Show your worth, my nigga. Like, you're gonna have to really go up there and try to smoke some shit. I'm not saying it can't happen. I've heard dope material from you before, but you're definitely battling a different animal in this. And I will say that, uh, salute to you. Uh, you know, you got it going, and we're gonna see where it goes. But ultimately, you're gonna have, you're, it's an uphill battle at this point because it's not a live stream, it's going straight on caffeine. Or well, it'll be live streamed on caffeine, but a week later, I don't, I just don't. Bro, I don't know how that shit works in battle rap. Like, could they have the Super Bowl and then air it a week later? Could a playoff game happen and then they air it a week later? Could a boxing match happen and they air No. No, no, no. It just... I don't know, man. But uh, I definitely appreciate you giving us some clarity and letting us know that you had some input. I ain't know if it was you having input or niggas just making decisions for you like this is when it's gonna happen and you just got nothing to do with it. But uh, salute to Sue Surf, salute to Cortez, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas bring y'all motherfucking A game regardless of the circumstances and we gonna see how it goes. Yeah,